Hi, hello and welcome again to another edition of Sports Update Ghana. My name is Joseph Adamafio and coming up in this edition, well, Ghana's former captain, that is Stephen Apia has been sharing how he felt after Lai Kingston was dropped out of Ghana's 2010 FIFA World Cup squad for the tournament in South Africa. We'll be looking at that as well as Black Stars player Ali Dusaidu has been speaking ahead of Ghana's final squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. More coming up here on Sports Update Ghana. Please do subscribe to the channel, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. Let's get straight into it. So the issues about players being shockingly dropped out of the Black Stars did not just start from here. It started long, long, long ago from the Afghan days when some players were not called to some Afghan tournaments to when we started going for the World Cup and all that. One of the players who has paid his dues when it comes to Ghana being at the World Cup is Lai Kingston. He has made several sacrifices for Ghana to be at the World Cup. In 2006 when Ghana qualified for the first World Cup in Germany, Lai Kingston played an instrumental role but guess what? The player was dropped out of the final squad for the tournament after the coach cited that well uh, Lai Kingston had a red card and would take him up to the third match before he can feature for the Black Stars and as a result well Lai Kingston had to be sacrificed so that another player will go for the tournament. Well that said the 2010 World Cup came Lai Kingston made sure he played in every qualifies so that he can get a deserving place in the Black Stars squad. He was in the form of his life and had to just be at the World Cup with the Black Stars but what happened? Coach Milovan Rajivak dropped out Lai Kinsen from the Black Stars final squad after making it to the professional squad for the tournament and well he was with the Black Stars in camp in France when the news broke out to him that well he was not going to South Africa with the Black Stars and in fact Stephen Apia who was the captain by then said that he had sleepless nights and it was a tough tough moment for him controlling Lai Kinsen during that moment because he can't imagine Lai going to miss two World Cups and the fact that after that World Cup, well, his career was coming to an end. Let's listen to Stephen Apia sharing his memory of that particular incident in 2010 when Lai was dropped out of Ghana squad for the World Cup. Those days, it's not like they would drop you here before you get to, your, uh, I mean, uh, the destination of the, of the tournament. We have seen players who, who have been dropped drop at the airport so many times and uh, at times you have to put yourself in their shoes i mean you have been in camp for so many uh, months uh, hoping that you'll be part of uh, a tournament and all of a sudden uh, you have been dropped i think uh, nobody will be happy i mean nobody will happen to happy to be, to mm. to experience that so most of the time uh yeah i will call them and i mean i i talk to them some of them not everything that we i mean i would say uh, into the camera but i mean i i what what you, let, tell me about the toughest i mean you've you've, you've mentioned you don't want to yeah. mention specific names but tell me um about the toughest situation you had to handle when it came to managing a player who had been dropped speaking to them i mean Hmm. No, in France, 2010, when Lai Kinsey was dropped. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, dif it was very, very difficult. It, it was very, very difficult because when we talk about the World Cup, I think Lai Kinsey was one of the influential players who yeah. made it possible for Ghana to go to the World Cup. 2006 uh, African Cup in, in, in Egypt, because of that uh, incident. Incidents with Habib Bey. Yeah, yeah. yeah, with Habib Bey. Um, he couldn't have a chance to go to uh, 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 Germany. 2010, uh, we camped in France, and he was he was he was dropped. It was it was it was very very bad to see uh, Lai Kissing at uh, that 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 evening, because I mean I think what will be going through his head. I mean I did everything po uh, possible for the team to qualify. 2006, I didn't have the chance, and I thought maybe uh, I will have the chance to go to South Africa. Unfortunately. Uh, I'm not going to South Africa as well. And when you calculate your, your career, maybe the next four years, you won't have the chance to, to go to the World Cup. And I went to his room with Richard Kinson and- His brother? I'm, yeah, it was, it, it was terrible. It was, it was, I mean, I went to my room to sleep 
thinking about Lai Kinsen. It was, it was, it was bad. Mm. It was bad. It was wow. very, very bad. So that is Captain Stephen Apia over there and well Stephen Apia played at two World Cup tournaments with the Black Stars the 2006 and 2010 World Cup where the Black Stars reached the quarterfinals of that particular World Cup. For Lai Kinsen, he was unable to play at any of the World Cups, had to watch it behind TV sets but now he is um, getting his coaching badges and hoping that one day he will become a coach and take a national team to the World Cup so that one day he will have a feel of what it it's like to be at the world cup well away from that 2010 incident let's talk about what is happening currently and well coach Utoado is expected to name ghana's 26 man squad for the world cup and Qatar. well one of ghana's players who is expected to be in coach Utoado's final squad is ali Duseidu, who plies his trade with clermont food in the french league uh, he has been speaking about how he expects the world cup to go and how uh, even if he doesn't make it to coach Utoado's final squad for the world cup he'll be elated to support the team to success at the 2022 fifa world cup he sat down with gary al smith in this interview on star connect let's listen to him if you had a message for Utoado getting into the world cup as he has to choose from all of you. So what I can say to um, Otoado is to get the confidence because Ghanaian they will talk. That's <laughs> for sure. Ghanaian they will talk, but all what, yeah, they will, they will talk. But all what I can tell, uh, I can tell Otoado is to get confidence and yeah, the players that he's going to call, if I'm even if I'm part or not, I'll always try to support Ghana and I know the players who will be going to the World Cup, they will give their best and yeah. So that is Ali Duseidu over there, the Black Stars player who plies his trade with Clermont Food and is expected to be part of Coach Utoado's final 26-man squad and an option when it comes to the defense. Well, that will be it for this episode of Sports Updates Ghana. I expect Coach Utoado to name the Black Stars final squad for the tournament in the coming days because France crap that won the World Cup four years ago. The defending champions have named their World Cup squad Nagana. Nah, that's four years, Yanko. What are we waiting for? My brothers and sisters, GFE, do the right thing. Well, that'll be it for this episode of Sports Update Ghana. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment.